Welcome back folks, this is lesson 18. We're getting some numbers together. Uh, this one I want you to paint is, it's a winter scene and it's in Kent. The you, What you can see now is I've used the masking fluid, what we've talked about before, on the roof to protect the snow on the roof there and some on the top of the bushes there, along there. And then the rest of it will be protected when we do the sky and that. I've got a little touch of uh, masking fluid in the in the crooks of those trees there, which would represent a touch of snow on them. So let's get cracking. The, the colours are there for you on screen. It's raw sienna or the ochre, uh, a, a couple of blue or similar blue, or, or some, then some burnt sienna or light red, and then a mixture of cobalt blue and burnt sienna and light red. That's for the darker, darker part of the sky. Right, I'll just move them colour mix, that colour mix, and we'll see where we're going from here. So it's I'd say it's a winter scene, so we've got to keep off the snow down here. Well, this is snow, so we've got to make sure that sky doesn't interfere with the snow. Let's see what we've got first. That's the first job. This is just water, by the way. Random. And what I want to do is, after I've done this sky, and before it dries, is put some distant trees in the background, or bushes or whatever you call them, because then it'll soften into the into the painting. I'll show you as, as we go along. So this is this is just clean water. Now they'll put some sunshine in. The light today is coming from the right. I do like a bit of sunshine. In fact, while I'm doing this, one colour I didn't mention to you, which is on that list, was that, that pinky colour. I want some of that pinky colour for the base of the sky. In winter you'll get that. So I'll mix a bit of that later. And then we can mix some, some of the cobalt blue I've got this time. Cobalt blue. It's a lovely winter blue, that. It's, it's, it's a cooler blue than the, than the ultramarine. Just slop some of that in here. Let the brush of the work, don't you get involved. So I can press on with that there without damaging the, the snow on the roof. And then as it comes down to the bottom of the sky there, I want to put some of that pinky stuff in, because I like that pink in the sky. It's too wet down there first. I'll put just, just that pinky stuff, just mix a touch, it's only a touch, it's not doesn't need much. That's the pinky stuff, the alizarin crimson, as we, we call it. I'm going to introduce that into the bottom of the sky here. That's protected there because that's masking fluid. It's a bit strong that, so I'll whip it out a bit. I don't want it too much. that pinky stuff up there. It's that kind of day. Some down here. So I've got that winter glow. Right, that'll do for that bit. Now, now what I want to do now is just do that, the cobalt blue and the burnt sienna. To, I want to put some dark in this sky because it's too nice. There, a bit more blue into that. 
that blew it up. Put a bit of dark in there, it'll, you'll look at the sky and think, blimey, there's more snow up there, there's some coming. So get your brolly out and your wellies on. Leave some, leave some gaps to the clouds, won't you? Of course, the darker the sky, the brighter the snow will appear, won't it? So let's just put a drop down here. Take it down here. I'm looking around for stuff to do now, so I'll take that colour out there, and that colour out there. And I want to put in some, yeah, some just suggestions of, of shadow colour of the cloud, because the, the light from the right don't forget, so we're going to get some shadows on this side, aren't we? Of the clouds. Away from the light, so you'll get a shadow, like that. Some round here, some on the back side of that. Oh, definitely some more snow in that sky. Definitely. I go into the bottom here and just drift this, this grey stuff into the distance there. So we just don't stop clouds coming and then just pink. I don't want that. I want it just a, a gradual recession. That'll do. That'll do. If I go anywhere, I'm, I'm fiddling. And you know I don't like to fiddle. It to be. Because all I want to do is drop in some suggestions of distant, distant trees. Which will be a, a, a bluey tinge to start with. Look what we've got. Yeah, down here we've got, we've got some. That'll soften into there, you see. In the depth, this distance. So it's creating creating a bit of depth in the painting for you. And perhaps some round here. Perhaps a touch of blue around this one here. Well, it'd be nice if I if I dropped in some of this uh, burnt sienna colour. I'll just get a touch of that in there, and we'll suggest some some colour like that in. This is the burnt sienna. It is going to be a appear but that colour will be closer than the bluish stuff so I have to push that bluish stuff back a bit which is which is what I wanted to do. Right I'll try and touch more of that light red in there I think. See how we go with that. It's given us a given us a backdrop of, of distant woodland. Put some up there as well, that's too, too bluey because it's close, that's quite close. Because it's still wet, it's going to soften into there, that's lovely. And of course, what I can do is, is also uh, just suggest a, a touch of, uh, get the rigger on it and suggest some distant trees, uh, bare trees. Let's put some of this bluey stuff in here. Let's see if we can soften into this. This is distant stuff. Let's 
too wet yet to do that. It's not letting me paint. Now it's too soft, too wet. I'm getting some distant trees, but not, not, not what I want. So I'm going to dry that up, and I don't want that. So I'm trying to sort of... That's what I, the effect I want, like that, you see. A suggestion of trees. Down there in the distance. Nothing too dirty, just, it's not you know, putting robins in or anything like that, it's just a suggestion of, of trees. Perhaps another one around here. Don't forget, the only spear carriers these, they're not, they're not special trees, they're, like they, they're just a backdrop for you. which is nice. And what I can do, but I can't take it off, I can put you some some uh, smudgy stuff. I'll try a bit of smudgy stuff now, see if we can get some suggestion of dark twigs. Twigs, now if I put some twigs on this, you might see what I mean. You can create a sort of a, that, that's twiggery on the on a distant tree. You, you won't see any any detail. You'll just see a suggestion of twigs and that. But don't go mad. That'll do on that. You can get you can get really carried away if you're not careful. Right, uh, perhaps uh, some of these trees that's coming towards me, I think we'll have some, uh, some stronger values on there. But nice if we have a bit of colour on it as well. A bit of colour on here will, will make it warmer. This is the, the burnt sienna stuff, this. We should give the, the winter scene a little bit of colour. So I don't have to be careful about that roof there because it's 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 protected, isn't it? It's got some uh because the underside of this will be dark, I'll put some darks in here, see. Give it a bit of shape. it. A bit of dark in there. You can use some that, that uh, burnt umber that we, we used a lot, you know, that, that sometimes gives you some, some good colours in the base of these these trees and that. Let's just get rid of that first. Take some weight of that colour off there and put some of this dark in here. The light's from the right, isn't it? So I'll probably get some of the darks around here like this. Just a suggestion, a shape. That's that, that's that, that's that. Now then I can put some, uh, I can introduce these, these trees just here. Let's get them, these in as well. These are dark silhouettes. I'll put these in. Just 
suggested. They're not, they're not close to us, these trees, so they are, they're in the distance, and they'll stay in the distance if you treat it like that. Now this tree here is, is quite close to us, so we will we'll treat that with a bit, bit, of, bit of strength. And I want to put some strength in there, and so I'll put some of that, uh, that cobalt blue into there. We've all got these on the palette now. Cobalt blue. I think I'll put a touch of burnt umber in with that because that, that's, that's a nice juicy dark brown. That should give me some colour. So a little colour we've got under tested on there. Let's let's try that, see what it works out at. So I'm, I'm right-handed, I'm painting from the bit of the left side first. I'm going to change to a smaller brush soon, as the, as the branches get narrower. Narrow up there, just take. And of course, paint them upwards because you, everyone has a tendency to, to lift the brush as they're going upwards and makes the branches narrower, which is which is what we're, we're aiming for. So that's all right. Well, put a nice dark on this one as well. Follow it up. I'm being quiet on this one. Quite a nice tree, this. And it's be it's be behind this uh, this uh, like a barn or a shed or wherever it is here. So we're. Keep it going. There's a branch there I've missed. Do you know, I, 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 miss, I miss painting with people like on the ship now, because if, if I miss something, they don't, they're not sure in coming quickly forward and telling me I've done something wrong, which I like. Because we can all miss things. And it's, it's, it's terrible when you're on your own and you get it wrong. Uh, but I, I mean, the one I'm thinking of, I, I did, there was a, a magazine rang me, I think I forget what it was, some art magazine. And, uh, they wanted me to go to London and paint two paintings for them. Uh, and I had to get the six o'clock train from Norwich. In the morning, that is. I didn't realise it was two six o'clock in a day, but it there is. And uh, I got to the studio about, oh, must have been about half past seven. It wasn't eight o'clock. And we, 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 we started work at that time and um, they, they hire the studio for a day, and I've got two paintings to do, filmed, filmed, and in the, in the pot by by the, the closing time. So, so it, it was tight. So we we kept we kept going, and then I painted a windmill. That's what I did. And and I thought, oh, I've done all right. I just made it, made it in time. And then on the way back, I was on the train, and I suddenly thought there was a, an important shadow I'd missed on the painting. 
of course, you can't do anything about it then. You're stuck. They, they've shut the studio and, and you can't say, I'm going to come back or anything like that. You, 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 what you've got is, is, what you've done is what you've got. And of course, it was going to be published in a magazine. I thought, oh, blimey. Anyway, when the magazine came out, I uh, had a look at this and I thought, oh dear. And anyway, the, the, the painting appeared in, in step by step and like they do. And do you know, not one person mentioned this, this, this shadow or missing shadow. And I was right pleased about that. I thought, oh good heavens, I've got to go away with it. But it just shows how easy it is to get it wrong. Of course, if you get sidetracked, sometimes you do that because you're busy talking. Right, I'm going on to a small brush now because I'm struggling with this brush because the, the size of it is just too big for what I need. So, pop this one down. Find a rigger, if I can find one. There must be one about here somewhere. Here he is. He's a rigger. Get the rigger on the go. This will do the smaller branches at the top. Right, let's start at this side. Get these smaller ones on. Looks a bit more realistic when you get get the, the extent of the the twigs on the end of it. There. Keep them coming. So up here like this, on the back of this one. They all crisscrossed and stuff like that, but it doesn't matter, don't worry about that. It's a nice but important one. Up, right up where that white cloud is. Do touch up here like this. Keep it going. It's going to be a bit longer than usual, this paint. I can tell because there's, there's a lot to do on it. That'll do. I'm starting to fiddle now. So that's our background tree for that one. Right, what shall we do next? So that's the tree, that's there, that's that one in the distance there. I don't want to touch that. That's all right, that's all right. I want to, I think I'll just do a bit of work on this, this building here on the, on, the, on the left. And I want to paint it to a, a pale, this is the burnt sienna colour. Let's just get some of this colour onto here. Might as well do this while, while I've got the, the masking fluid on. Then I can whip that off and then I've got snow. But I think one of this, this, this all like, like this, this, this would be nice, wouldn't it? Mind the window. I think it's, it's some kind of a bomb, this, because uh, he, underneath this is a, is a, is a couple, of, couple of big doors which open up, and this must be sort of a, a, sort of a, a, a loft in the top with a window, which is nice. So we've got, oh, that's an open gap there. These are two doors that's on here like this. Put the doors in. Another window here. But we're getting rid of some of this, this white off the sidelines. I 
this one here, this is a, this is a, I think it's a, a garage of some kind. Of course, it'll be dark inside there because it's it's got got no door on. Let's put these some treat these the same. I'll go over the doors because these doors are going to be darker. It's just it's like an undercoat. This it, it gives me a sort of a, a sense of colour values and stuff like that. Because too much white on it, it's, 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 it's throwing the throwing the balance of it. I can paint this quickly because the masking fluid on there is protecting the the bit that it want is white. See, I can just go over there like that. It doesn't matter. Get this down here. Good job of mixing a bit of this stuff. It's it's a lot to do. Right, it's, it's starting to look more lived in now. Uh, that's it. That's that. That's that. That's that. And also what I can do while I've got this cover in my hand, it, the, these are bushes at the side, so we can get some of these suggestions of, of bushes in the, in the in here. While I've got the snow, uh, the snow protected, the, the, this is uh, mashed out because, because it's snow and I can, I can paint in between it. So these are some darks and... Don't worry about the other thing, but keep... keep Blending this in. And the, the same on the, the well, while, while I was still on that side, I'm going to get some of that burnt on, but what we have in the other paintings, and we'll whip some of that in the bottom of the bottom of these bushes, like the underside of the bushes the root area. Let's just drop some of that in, that'll give that a bit of shape. Some down here. There's some on this one here. that up. Some darks in there. You can spend a lot of time with this by just just fiddling like this. Some on the bottom there. They go down there. But that is still protected. That what's bluey. It's going to be, it's going to be white, so we don't have to worry about it at all. Same at the side, just to cross the way there. That's that sienna on this first, this raw sienna, burnt sienna, I should say, on there. It's just normal bushes with, with, with snow on the top. Because that, that basking fluid has, has made it a lot more, it saved me a lot of time, or I, I would have been fiddling around it if it hadn't got the masking fluid on. So that saved me a job, if you like. Put some darks in there. Some down in this corner here, and do, do this one here as well. This this one down down the lane. And 
Now I want to put some, some roots in there here, some dark, dark areas. Still a bit wet this, but uh, we'll get away with it, I think. Just work, don't just, just flick it in like this. It's, it's blending into it actually by, by being wet. It's doing me a favour. And I need all the help I can get. Right. A bit more brown on that. So it looks like a fiddling, but, but we, we, we're getting there. Trust me. It'll all come right in the end, says he with his fingers crossed. Famous last words. It'll all come right. But when you're showing it to your friends and your neighbours around the, your, your, you're showing your lovely paintings what you've done, uh, you, you might not be totally happy with it. But I say 99 out of 100 of them will be saying, God, I wish I could paint like that. I wish, I, I wish I'd done that. And, and this, they're talking about your painting. And just, just don't forget that. And they were wishing they started painting at the same time as you. So that's how good it is. So a bit of twiddle on this one here. Not too much detail on this, this bottom one because it's, it's distant, isn't it? Right, the, the, while that's, that's drying up and that, I think I'll put a bit more detail into these buildings here. Oh, is it dry yet? No, it isn't. Right, that should be a bit drier now. We can work on that. So there's, there's now a dark there inside that, this barn. So I'll put a dark in there. I think it's, it's a nice juicy dark as well. So I can mix some, some that dark brown we've got. Let's get some of that dark brown in there. Mix a bit of blue with it. Well, that cobalt blue should help. We should create, put, create a bit of depth inside this, this barn here. I mean, what you can do if you like is just when you've got part of the colour there, in fact, this one's dark in here as well. Put that one in. That's got some pale bits in there. We can enter some pale bits in there, some a touch of pale in there just to represent a bit of light there. And where that that section is, I want to put some alizarin crimson in there to give the shadow a bit a bit of interest in there, like that. There's always something happening inside that barn. It's not just all all dead colour. That's all right. A bit more interesting, a bit more in that one there. Yep, that's it. In fact, a lot of these down here are barns. So I want to put some colour in, some colour into these as well. Make it dark. There's one here. Most of these are barns. They're not, uh, they're not people living in them. I don't know about that one there. That, that looks a bit livable. Put 
one in this front here like this. So it's going down. I said don't don't get to bow down with it because it's it, it's distanced off this. Perhaps to touch down here like that, put a window in there. Now there's a window at the top there, we'll sort that out. I think a rig is best for that. Unless I do it with a pale a pale colour like this. Pale blue. Wait till it dries. And this one. See how we go from there. That's a bit too too much colour on there. Lift it up. Let that dry a bit. Now, uh, what I can do down here, uh, I think I'll take some of this, this masking fluid off now. I'll keep that one, like, this one should be all right now. Mind you, before I do that, I'll put a bit of these windows in here, these, these areas of dark. The light's from the right, isn't it? So you're going to get the darkest darks on the right hand side, where it's, it's just got into there and you can see it dark in there. That corner. Perhaps a bit of colour in that littering in there. That's a touch of colour. And then we'll put those windows in. Two windows on this one. Drop the windows in there. Only slits. Right. I'll put some. I'll put a dark window frame in on this. Over that uh, that window there. I'm just suggesting this. Light on the, I should say, some bit of dark on the inside of this frame here. And on the underside of that. That's the one that's underside of that. And that'll do. I don't want to get too busy on it. Perhaps a couple of windows here. Right, I've, I've done done them bits and pieces and that stuff there. I'll have a couple of lines across here, like like straps straps that's just in there. Right, I think the next job is we'll take some of this 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 masking fluid off, shall we? Let's see what we've got. There's our snow, white as driven snow if you like. Be careful on that one, I hope it's still not wet. It's dropped on that ridge. There's some of this dough away. There. It's just resting on the, where the trestles have gone across, snow has rested on it. That's the, what I'm trying to trying to do actually. Some of that window still at the bottom there. Some of these lean tools down here. Yeah. 
it's sticky stuff this, I'll tell you. But, look how it's protected that, that snow for me. I've been able to move quickly there without damaging. And still protect the, the whiteness of that snow. So that's that side done. Right, let's just have a go at this side as well. Good stuff, isn't it? Look at the time it saved me. Pull it off this roof here. I think I've gone mad with this masking fluid, is that much on it? We're getting there. I see the end isn't the touch there, touch there. I think that's most of it, I think. Oh, there's some on this tree here, look. See that? I better tell you about we're, we're touching the crap in the, in the crevices of the, of the trees there. Right, let's have a look what we're going to do next now. We've done our, our buildings and stuff like that. Uh, we've got to do some some treatment on these uh, these roofs and things like that, just a bit of sculpturing. Let's do that. Gonna get a, a bit of a dark under here. A uh, little bit of dark under that one. Under that. I'll mix a bit of a bit of a colour that that I need for for shadows and stuff like that. I like that ultramarine for shadows because it's transparent. Of burnt umber on that. This is that that shadow colour we've, we've always used with other paintings. So I'm just going to a touch of that. Mix a touch of that. Not too strong. And let's suggest a touch of. Uh, where the light's from there, it's, it's going to be with some shadow on, on the underside of that there. There'll be some on the underside of that, and the underside of that, and the underside of that. There'll be some, this will be in shade here because the, the light's, the light's against it, isn't it? The light's from there, so this will be, be in shade, this. And as so the light from the top right there, we're going to get a shadow, a shadow under the under the eaves of that, you see, and under the eaves of this one where the snow hangs over. And there's some underneath that one there, and this one will be in shade here because it's against the light. So a, a lot of this is, is keep looking where the light is, and we're going to get shadow on the underside of of some of these bushes here, like this look. That makes it look more realistic 
three-dimensional, in fact. That's all, there's some under there. Some on this one here. Keep it going. So it looks a bit more, it's got a bit more shape to it that now. Uh, this will be nice and warm, I'll, I'll get down here first. The lights from there, this front end of this building will be in shade there. And that one will. Uh, shade under there. This end of this building will be in shade as well. Bit of shadow on this hedge. Some on the underside of that. Underside of this one here. This one here will be in shade because it's facing the away from the sun. Like that. And some on the underside of that there. Our, our Liverpool building here, this will be in shade here. The shadow on there as well, because it's, 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 it's behind that building. The underside of this will be in shade, just here. So it's, it's starting to look as though it's got a bit of shape now. That, that's that's what I've got all these these bushes to do with this side. They'll be in shadow there like that. against the light this isn't it back behind it see so you're going to get some shadow on there some darks on this here seems odd you do all these, these, these nice bits of colour and then cover it up but as I've told you before, this, this ultramarine and burnt umber, it's a transparent colour, wash, so you can see the colours underneath it as well, so you're not, you're not missing anything. Right, light, light, light. There, that's... You might get a touch of... If that's in front of that, you're going to get, I don't know, because that's, that's behind that one. So don't worry about that. That's all right there. That's all right there. And of course, what we've got to think about now is, I've got a couple of figures down the lane there as well, haven't I? Can't forget them. Blimey. They get shot. A couple of figures down the lane. Oh, in fact, there's some trees. Yeah, I better put these trees in as well. Just, uh, that's what I miss when people tell me, look, you forgot them trees. I have to think about it myself now, which is weird. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Mm, might be wet, that one. Right, that's, I think that's dry. Put some of these trees in here. behind it here. Put that one in. Fling it up there. And 
another one here. I'm concentrating how quiet on this one. I'm not rattling on. to put a bit of a, a bit of tree or twiggery in front of this building here so it, it shows it where it is doesn't it like that that's all right now then this the next thing I want to do is uh, the, the the snow believe it or not is not white well on a painting what it is it's it, you get uh, you pick a lot of these colours from the from the sky, so the, what's in the sky is is on the snow as well. So we've got to be careful here. It's not it's not strong. It's it's, it's delicate stuff that's that's on here. Softness. It's what's that? I promise you those two figures first. Didn't I? I better do that first before I get get bogged down. Right, this is this this is Fred. He's got his, his red jumper on. He loves his red jumper, and it draws the eye straight down the road, doesn't it? Right, Fred, away you go. This is Fred here. He's only tiny because he's right down the road. And he's got me able to put him a red hat on, hasn't that? That'd be nice. Right, Father Christmas. And we'll put him some trousers on. And Mabel, I think she'd better have a something smart then as well because it's, it's a nice day Why wow, this lockdown stuff is saving me some money we're not out shopping any dresses or anything like this, nothing oh dear to me and cruise dresses they cost a fortune you know and I can't get one to fit me now But formal nights, oh dear, it's, it's posh, I'll tell you. They don't mess them out with formal night. I'll put a, a long a long dress on, a long coat on here, because it's chilly. There, she, a, a long coat. And, and little legs, of course, because there's, there's not much legs showing, is there? In fact, I better put brown legs, because she's not, she got no stockings on. There's brown legs down here. There she is. There's Mabel. And Fred. He's got dark in a bit of dark hair on. A bit time put a touch of dark in there like that. That's right. Right. Now let's it'd be I'll tell you what's nice as well, if you can if you can spend time to doing this it's 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 therapeutic as well so you, you might be all right with this uh, if you do something like this you 
you get a touch of blue in that as well because the because the shadows in there. This is where the tractor's been. Fortunately, it was gone before Fred and Mabel started the walking, so so there was no accident or anything like that. And I think uh, it'd be nice if we had some, you know, the the rogue rogue grasses that 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 grow by the side of the road, twiddly bits like this. Like that. It's nice to get some things like that, which stick out of the stick out of the snow, because it's not a lawn as I say. It's, it's, it's nice a bit, a bit of twiddle around here. It just makes it look more rural. Nice long one up there, so that's, that's nice. I'm just putting more twiddle in the foreground here and I'm trying to keep away from the back the back of my but just to touch on this corner here just to anchor that down a bit it's there now then the snow is not white I've said it's it's a color that it picks up colors from the from the sky let's get a bit of tissue there so colors from the sky and we've got yellows and we've got the sienna there, we've got the blues, we've got the pinky stuff as well. So let's do, start off with a touch of sunshine. Just a touch, don't want it to be too strong. The sunshine's coming from here, so you, you probably get some sunshine on this roof here, you see. Kitchen, so it's not white, it's, it's got a, a sunshiny roof. And probably some on this one as well, and that one. Gotta be careful there, because I've, what I've done is put that tree. See, it's run. Not to worry. They'll not see that when it's doing ninety. Right, I touch of that. yellow on that one there, there, go down that one. There'll be some of this full sun here, which is down this side. In full sun. And also you'll get uh, the, the reflected light on, on this, this, this road, this path, you know, it'll come up like this, you see. Of course, it'll follow perspective like that. So we've got some of that nice, nice blue in there as well. Because there's blue in the sky, and so we're going to get some bluey touches in, in the in the roadway as well. That is, rocks and stuff like that. So we've lost a lot of our white now, which is which is which is what I wanted to. to oh, must be to touch that pink, didn't I? So to put to that pink in. Let's let's see if we can find a touch of pink. Just a touch, not not too much. But the pink's in the sky there, so we're going to get a touch of pink in here, aren't we? Now the shadows are coming from, uh, the, the, the sun is from the right, so we're going to get probably just a touch of shadow where we can see any. 
just a touch of shadow coming from the right hand side and then take the brush off me because I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling then just get these in first so it would have been nice if we had uh, sort of if a tree was off 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 screen here on the right hand side oh, oh no we'll leave that one well these will cast a shadow down here perhaps across the road like that you see that'll cast a bit of a shadow there because it's a building isn't it that might cast a shadow down here uh, this end of this building of course that will be in shade as well won't it I nearly forgot that. This end of this building will be in shade. Might get a bit of shadow down here. Fred and Mabel might cast a bit of a shadow just across here. And what I've forgotten is just a touch. I mean, we're nitpicking now, but where the sun is shining, this this I've left some snow on here, but the, the right hand side, left hand side is going to be in shade, and just there, where it's away from the light. That makes that look three dimensional instead of just sort of a white blob. Probably get a bit of shadows from these little things here. Cast down here. Twiddly bits around here. Where these bits of grasses are. Uh, I wonder if I should... Yeah, I'll just, just put a touch of... Touch of dark to bring this forward here. Yeah. This is a touch of dark. The burnt umber stuff, which is, which you know, we can just darken this this a bit here. It'll bring it forward for us. Near the front. I've got to be careful now because I'm, I'm looking for things to do. That's wrong. I just when you start looking for things to do, stop. But one thing I should check: you always check the sky last and make sure if there's any dodgy bits in it. You can introduce a bird into it. Actually, it doesn't look bad. This guy. We've got away with it. A little, little, little flashy bit there. That's a little, little spot there. You see it. I think what I'll do with that is uh, get rid of it by doing this look. Got a little twig in it. That's got rid of it. And I think if I try any more things, I'll, I'll be fiddling. So that is our winter in, in, in Kent. I, I've enjoyed painting it. I don't know about you, it took longer than I thought. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, uh, give us a like or, or subscribe or something. And until the next time, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye, folks.